Hi everyone, I'm glad here on the behalf of our team from Lazada to introduce our work, which is finding what users look for by attribute-aware personalized item comparison and relevant recommendation. First of all, let's talk about what is relevant recommendation. This figure shows a case in our shopping app. As users first open our app, the homepage usually provides a diversified set of items which are generated from the conventional recommendation, which we call diversified recommendation here. Well, after the user clicks on a specific item, it jumps into a product detail page. And on the bottom of this page, we deployed relevant recommendation to capture users' interests on items that are relevant to the previous one. Here we call this previous click item trigger item and the candidate items in relevant recommendation target items. And, and due to the particularity of relevant recommendation, we face two challenges. Firstly, conventional methods for diversified recommendation neglect the context information from trigger item. And secondly, users have the mindset to look for items that have directional attribute differences from the trigger item. In order to address the above challenges, we formulate CTR prediction task over a user, trigger item, target item triple, and construct the foundation structure. After that, we propose two modules. The generalized attribute aware comparison module works on the current trigger target item pair, which aims to learn the general preference on item comparison among the same user profile and the same trigger item group. And the personalized attribute aware comparison module works on the user's past triggered target item pair sequences, which learns the user's personal preference from his past. Inside these two modules, an item subtracting module works as a functional unit. Specifically, item attributes are divided into two classes, intrinsic attributes and extrinsic attributes. Given a pair of items, the scalar distance of intrinsic attributes is first calculated as the item similarity and then used to generate the modulation coefficient, which further acts on the scaling of the distance in extrinsic attributes. In the GAC module, a dynamic weight vector is generated from the profile of the user and the attributes of the trigger item, then works on the item difference vector by a hard mark product. In PAC, each pair of the trigger and target item in the user's past behaviors are compared and then contributes to the current state estimation with both a recurrent network as well as a multi-head attention mechanism. And then is the whole picture of our APIC algorithm. Experiments are set up over both public and industrial data sets and each experiment is repeated three times. We consider two groups of baselines, including four non-sequential methods and four sequential methods. And we also do the ablation study. Detailed results of overall performance can be found in this table. The whole model of APIC achieves significant improvements over both the public and the industrial data set. In the ablation study, we can see that the item subtraction module contributes the most improvement on the industrial data set, which proves the effectiveness of the prior knowledge on user's scenario mindset. We also divide the testing samples from the industrial data set into high frequency samples and long tail samples. As shown in the left figure, APIC and its variants achieves higher capability on samples that have not been frequently seen by the model, which illustrates that APIC has higher generalization ability compared with others. Besides, we also output the dynamic weights and group them according to the user's profiles and the trigger item categories. Figures on the right show typical cases that review the mindset variance over items and users. Above all, there are three main contributions in our paper. Firstly, we formulate an attribute-aware item comparison framework for relevant recommendations. 
which addresses users' mindset on item comparison between trigger item and the candidate item, especially over attribute level. Secondly, we propose to calculate the directional difference in multiple attributes between items with consideration of their intrinsic similarity and extract users' collective and individual preferences on it. Thirdly, we evaluate our method on relevant recommendation over both public and industrial datasets. Experiments results show that our method outperforms the state-of-the-art methods on the overall AUC metrics and achieves higher generalization ability. Thanks for your attention. Details can be found in our paper, and you can also contact me by email.